In this video, I'm going to be going over how you can work with someone who's lazy. Let's get into it. As I've spoken about in a couple of my videos, the norm these days is to be comfortable. And with comfort usually comes lack of effort. We could also call this lazy. From time to time, you will encounter people in your organization, especially if it's large, that are very lazy. This doesn't have to be all bad, but there are some tactical things you can do using your social intelligence or SQ to better manage the efforts of a lazy person if you have to deal with them at work. The first thing you should do is have very clear, concise expectations of that person. You can do this via deadlines, deliverables, and timelines, but you need to have clear, concise outputs expected of this person, and you need to call them out when they don't meet those, if they don't. If you're managing someone that's lazy, calling them out on their lack of integrity if they're missing these deadlines is a potential way for you to help them be less lazy. Because otherwise, this is a performance problem, and you don't want to have to put somebody on a performance improvement program or something that's halfway to letting them go if they're just being lazy. A very important thing when it comes to lazy people is to not take up their slack. So if you're in a team with a lazy person, you need to try to insulate yourself from the lazy person in terms of uh, work delineation. So when it comes to who's doing what, by when, you need to try to insulate yourself from that lazy person as best you can. And you can do this through socially intelligent ways, like not trying to put that person down, but also not covering for them. So you don't want to be covering for the lazy person or taking up any of their slack they need to be less lazy or they need to leave. That's really the options here. Less lazy or leave. One of the benefits of a lazy person, probably the only benefit, is if you want to look for somebody that can do continuous improvement ideas, lazy people are actually perfect at this because they want to do the least amount of work. So if you have a process that's very convoluted, give it to a lazy person because that lazy person might surprise you. They might come up with a novel solution because they don't actually want to do any work. I know this sounds asinine, but this is probably the only benefit of having a lazy person around you is that you can give them something and they will show you the most efficient way to do it because they want to do the least work. It's a bit ironic, but it could work in certain situations and I thought I would bring it up. I know you gain a lot of value from learning how to deal with lazy people at work. If you want to learn more about social intelligence or SQ, check out this playlist up here. Or if you want to learn about IQ, check out this video playlist down here. And I hope you continue your journey to become a more social engineer.